Hiya, I'm Samir Radley from England and Nails and in this video I'm going to be doing little chrome designs. Probably some stars for Christmas. today and I've already sort of started doing her nails so I have prepped it and I've done two coats of cover flubber and then I've done a coat of ultimate no white top coat I've cured that for 120 seconds always cure your ultimate no white for 120 um, so we're ready to rock and roll so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff the surface of this with a buffer I've got a 320 320 pro buffer um, but anything that's soft, so a 320 is fine, a 240 is fine. I wouldn't do anything coarser than that because if you do, your chrome will probably stick into your little scratch marks. So basically I'm doing it this way because chrome obviously will stick to the Ultimate Day White Top Coat and I only want to stick it to my design that I'm doing. And if you use the matte top coat, it will also probably stick to that. So you'll end up with it all over the nail when you only want it on your design that you're doing. Am I explaining that right, VK? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, am I just rambling? Do you know what I'm on about? But all will be clear in a minute. All will become clear. I'm just going to make sure I've got it around the edges because I know what I'm like. Applying this chrome. I do tend to get it everywhere. Right, so now it's buffed, hopefully, fingers crossed, it shouldn't really stick to that. I'm just doing it a bit more just in case. One more for good luck. <laughs> One for luck. So, I'm going to use the black no wipe gel paint. This is the key. And then I'm going to use, I think, Fleur Chrome. So that's our rose gold chrome. And I'm going to use my dotting tool and Michelangelo. I feel the need to say it like that. Mm -hmm. Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. Hey, pizza. Mamma mia. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> oh! Nearly come a cropper then. Chucking me, chucking me nippers about. I just don't like to get the black on my fingers, so I use that. Right, so I'm going to use my dotting tool. I'm just going to do like a little star. It's basically to show you the method. Because these are quite popular and a few people have asked. So you can do whatever design you want. So I'm just doing a couple of little dots. I'm going to do like a little, a little star with it. So now I've got my Michelangelo brush. This is still probably my favourite brush. I just can't help it. I feel like I should be uh, just as good to all the others. And I do love them obviously, but this is my fave. So for these little starry things, I'm literally just starting in the middle and pulling the gel outwards. Once you've got your design on, this is the crucial part, your curing time. Because if you cure it for too long, your chrome won't stick. If you don't cure it for long enough, then it'll just be a mess, basically. And also it won't look chrome. So I think I found the sweet spot. Hopefully it doesn't prove me wrong now because I'm on camera. But I'm using the Platinum X Lamp. And in the Platinum X Lamp, if you cure it for five seconds, then it should work. So we're going to give it a go. Right, so we've done our five second cure. Now we're going to use the chrome and hope. Oh, <laughs> hope that it works. How many times did you have to practice how many seconds that went in the lamp for? Quite a few. <laughs> this is the things I do for you, you see? This is the things I do for you. It took quite a while to work this out. So I'm just going to use my gloved finger, basically, to rub it on. Oh. 
squeaky bum time. <laughs> I just like tickle it on and then I'm going to use a soft brush so I'm going to use um, the pigment brush. There we go. Because you want a soft one. If you use the coarse glitter off one it will drag your chrome off. Just give it a little dust. Ta-da! See? It's worked! <laughs> So this is how we do our isolated chrome designs. And then what I like to do is whack it in the lamp and give it a full 120 second cure just to make sure. So I've cured that again for 120 seconds and I'm just dusting over lightly again just to make sure I've got no loose bits because I don't want to ooh, stretch. <laughs> I don't want to drag my chrome off when I top coat. So I'm going to use Rock Light. I can see another little bit of chrome there. I just did that. I'm going to use Rock Light, and I kind of want to just float this top coat on again, so that I'm not dragging my chrome around. I'm going to top coat it twice. So don't worry with the first one if you don't go right around the edges because I'm going to come back again. So now that that's done and out of the lamp I'm just going to give it another top coat but this time I'm going to use the Ultimate No Wipe just because it is my top coat of choice. I love it. So that is it out of the lamp. It is done. So that is how you do your amazing little chrome designs. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!